Hey guys, it's Alam, and today I'm going to be showing you guys more in greater detail what the Far Lands look like in the Nether and End Dimensions in Bedrock Edition. Now, and there's also something new I discovered in the Overworld Far Lands, so be sure to keep watching till the end for that. But without further ado, guys, let's get into it. So, it, literally. So let's head into this Nether portal here. We need to wait for this to load. There. Now we're in. So let's get into fly mode here. Actually, you, know, you just got out of fly mode. Actually, and let's put in slash TP 12,550,820. And let's do 50. 12,550,820. Return. And I'm inside of a rock, which is very convenient. Uh, so actually, that direction's away from the far lands. There, it just should... Let's keep pressing forward for a little bit more. There. Now we're in. So, you can see here, little bits of the sky grid are generating. And I'm um, pressing forward. I'm barely being able to move. I need to look in one direction only. And notice how there's, like, strips of every four blocks here. Of four blocks here. Near the beginning, I can. Near the beginning, there's actually a little bit of the stack appearing to generate. Yeah, like you can see here, sort of how it's like there is some blocks up here, and it just dissipates into sky grid. All right, so let's get into the side far lands a little bit, and yeah, you can see there's like, there's like the red mushroom things, whatever those are. And then I am down here. So one of those biomes. And you can sort of see how this area part of the far lands resembles the corner. And that but now let's teleport to twelve million twelve million five hundred fifty nine thousand nine hundred and thirteen fifty one. Turn. This should put us at about the beginning of the degrading of the far lands, and I'm inside I'm again I'm inside of a rock. <sighs> has to be. There. Now we're out. So we can see here the beginning of the degrading of the nether far lands. You can see there's a there's just pillars every four blocks here. And if we keep going in this direction, you'll eventually see the beginning of the comb lands. Now these now these every four block artifacts that you're seeing here actually used to generate in the overworld too. But they don't anymore for whatever reason. I'm guessing it's just the terrain generator now reacts differently to the to the single precision floating point overflow and the interpolation. Anyway, here we are, twelve about twelve million five hundred sixty thousand three sixty one. Where are the comb lands really begin? If you keep going, we should get to the re to the beginning of to what I considered for a long time to really be the beginning of the fringe lands. And you will see that they in fact generate like the overworld just like the overworld ones used to. Be ew, like you saw in my like you probably saw in my Edge Farlands video from 2017. And hey, there's another fortress out here. And there is another and there is another one of those a warped fungus biome. We should get there any moment now. See it down there. There's more pillars and strips of four blocks. And I'm just, you know, just giving my commentary on what, I'm, on what you are seeing just to keep this interesting as I go along here. There's some more pillars, basalt pillars and blackstone. And now we have, fi we have finally reached 12,561,029. Now you can see that this is what the fringe lands actually used to look like in the overworld. N now we're next. I'm gonna see what this is gonna look like if we bring the repeti repetition phenomenon into it near the corner. So let's go twelve million five hundred sixty-one thousand twenty-nine fifty six million two hundred seventy-five thousand four and twelve. All right. Let's wait for this to load in there. Huh. So the so the map is actually not generating those every four block artifacts in the repetitive areas, 
which I find bizarre. Instead, we're just seeing a lot of strips of blocks. So I guess that never really existed in the first place, that part of the far ends that I was really wanting to see. Let's see if the homelands still generate their artifacts in the repetitive area. All right, it's inside of a rock. Again, let's go down. Again. Hmm, that's weird. I can phase through box on the Z-axis, but not, but not the X-axis. All right, so I'm not seeing any every four block artifacts out in this area. So let's put ourselves back near where our portal was. Let's do slash TP one fifty one, and that's again going to put me inside of a rock. So let's break out of here and head back into and head back into the overworld. Wait, where's the, the portal's over there? Up there. All right. Now, before I show you the end far lands, actually, I'm going to show you the end far lands first. I'm going to, here's before I get to the overworld far lands, from, you, from my latest discovering the overworld far lands. I'll, I'll save that for the very end. Let's, so let's dip into the end portal here. There. Now, I've already killed the dragon on this world, just so you know. Let's, let's, get, out of, let's get out of here real quick. Yeah, you can see there's an end gateway over there and the portal is active. So let's do slash TP. 12,550,800. There. This should put us about where the end far lands begin. Now, you can see here that the end farlands actually have a slightly different starting point than the overworld ones. They start at 12,550,817 instead of 12,550,821. And this is due to the fact that the interpolation that the interpolation is only every is over intervals of 8 blocks in the end. The noise is only sampled every 8 blocks in the end, not every 4 like in the overworld end. Never. Now, and this also explains why the sky grid you see here is less dense. This literally looks like the Matrix. All right. Now, now let's head. Now let's head to who? HTP twelve million five hundred fifty nine thousand nine hundred thirteen one hundred one. Hit one, and of course, this put me inside of a rock again, which is really convenient, but. You can see the beginning of the every of these artifacts that you saw in the Nether Fringe Lands, and, and except here they're generating every eight blocks and, and not every four. And this actually looks rather normal for the end, which is bizarre. And there's a some a bunch of horse trees over there. Not really strange. The, okay, there now we've gotten to the twelve million five hundred sixty thousand three hundred sixty one area. Where the land really begins to degrade, and so I'm gonna get to the fringe lands and try to ch and, and invent. So I'm gonna get to the fringe lands and then show the 12.561 million on one axis, 6.275 million on the other area. Uh, before before leaving the end, actually no, I'm gonna also show the one a corner where these signs are different before I leave the end and then show what's changing the overworld. All right. So now we have arrived at the 12,561,029 mark. And you can see here that the land that the land is that is really thinning out and and a lot of these artifacts are appearing are once again appearing every 8 blocks instead of every 4. Now let's try to go to dash TP 12,561,029 100 6,275,412. All right. Same story here. We aren't really seeing every any every eight block artifacts out in the repetitive area. That's weird. I was expecting like repetitive artifacts every eight blocks. That repeat every twelve on the other axis. Anyway, let's now head to twelve million five hundred fifty thousand eight hundred one hundred negative twelve million five hundred fifty thousand eight hundred. 
Now you're gonna see here when this loads up, one one side far lands is just a sky grid. The other one far land side far lands here is just a sky grid. The other is a regular and far lands. All right, and there's an nine island right there. So now let's head back to the middle here. TP one one hundred one. All right. Now let's now let's drop down into the portal. There. All right. So we're back in the overworld. Now, now I have something new to show you in the overworld farms. Let's go to slash TP twelve million five hundred fifty thousand eight hundred one hundred twelve million five hundred fifty thousand eight hundred. Should put us about the corner of the far lands. All right. So. We are now at the corner of Farlands in the overworld. And, and you can see the sky grid that here from here from before. And I need to get I need to hold the button to get moving. And you can see this is loading really slow, but remember when we get into the sky grid here. Ignore it. You should actually ignore this. This is all this is this is all 1.16.201 material. You'll actually see the sky grid has stopped generating over here. I first discovered this recently when I was messing around, and I went way out on the z-axis where normally the train is a sky grid. Instead, I just saw nothing like in the x-axis. So 1.16. So the sky grid does not seem to generate anymore in 1.16.210, the latest patch. As you can see where the sky, the sky grid was still generating, that's 1.16.201 material. So yeah. And, and the negative far lands on the X and Z axes are both blank now. Uh, even though I showed them generating like a regular far lands in a video I did a while back. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. Good and goodbye.